Hi guys! Today we're going to make Oreo and M&M McFlurries! Do you want to try them? Click play and have fun with Alex and Lily! Hi Alex! Hi Lily! We haven't made any dessert in the kitchen lately! Do you fancy McFlurry ice cream? And what toppings would you like? There are so many different possibilities! Great, Alex! An Oreo Cookie McFlurry for Alex and... For you, Lily? That's such a good idea! An M&M McFlurry for you! Yay! Hey guys, can you think of any other desserts we could make with Alex and Lily? You can tell us in the comments and we'll get right on it! Go put on your chef outfits and I'll see you in the kitchen! Everything is ready! <laughs> a McFlurry is a vanilla ice cream. So in order to make it, we need the bowl to be cool. Here it is, in the fridge! First, we have to make the ice cream, which will be the base of our dessert. Let's add the ingredients. First, we add the whipping cream. This will be enough! And now we have to beat it! We have to whisk it really fast so that it's really creamy! Mmm! It looks amazing! Now, in order to make it sweeter, we add some condensed milk! Perfect! Now we add a touch of vanilla flavouring, which is the secret ingredient! <laughs> And lastly, we blend it together so as to achieve a soft and thick texture. There! Now we have to let it cool, because it's ice cream after all. <laughs> so let's put it in the fridge. And we move on to the next step while we leave the ice cream to cool down. Let's grab a few Oreo cookies for Alex and we crush them so that we can mix them together with the ice cream later on. Here we go! And now we grab some coloured sweets for Lily. And we follow the same process as before. We use the pestle to crush the M&Ms. Great! We're done! Now let's check and see if our ice cream is cold. It's just perfect! Now we have to mix in the selected toppings! <laughs> the selected toppings are the cookie and sweet bits we prepared earlier, Alex! We put the ice cream in the cup and we add the Oreo cookies! There! Now we have to do the same thing for Lily's McFlurry! First, we add the ice cream and now the M&M's! Perfect! Let's add a touch of colour! <laughs> so cool! Do you like it, Lily? What is it, Alex? Do you also want sweets? Oh! You want to squirt some syrup on top! There! Do you want to try them? It's a really simple recipe, so we can repeat it any time you like! <laughs> Hi Lily! Hi Alex! Should we cook dinner? Mm, what would you like to eat? You need to reach an agreement! Burgers or salad? <laughs> I've an idea! What if we made burgers with veggie patties instead of meat patties? Exactly! It's a Mexican recipe you're going to love! And you too, guys! Hey, what's your favourite burger? You can tell us in the comments and we'll try it out with Alex and Lily! Here they are! The colour is similar, isn't it? It's because they're made out of beans! Let's heat up a pan and add a splash of oil so that we can fry them! We 
have to wait for the oil to warm up. It's weird it's taken so long. <laughs> That's right! I forgot to turn on the cooker! Here we go! Once it's warm, we put the burgers in. Into the frying pan! Now we have to let them cook for a while. That usually takes a little bit longer than with meat patties. In the meantime, let's prepare the buns. Remember to use burger buns. They're much tastier. First off, once they're ready, we have to turn off the cooker. We can't waste energy now, can we? See how quick that was? Now we just have to put them on a bun and add any other ingredients we like. Fried tomatoes? Those will add flavour! What about you, Lily? Any ideas? Cheese! Yes! That always goes great with patties! Can I add a special touch? Since this is a Mexican burger, let's top it off with some yummy jalapenos! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll only add a few so that it's not that hot! And our Mexican burgers are now ready! Don't they look amazing? <laughs> let's dig in! Hi Alex! Hi Lily! Mm, it smells amazing! What are you cooking? Wow! You're baking Christmas biscuits! That's great! Do you want to decorate them together? <laughs> And what about you guys? Out of all of the recipes Alex and Lily have tried out, which one was your favourite? You can tell us in the comments! Biscuits are ready! Cool! I see they come in three different shapes! So fun! Let's start with you, Lily! How should we decorate this first biscuit? Fantastic! Let's see what we have here. First, we add the tree layer. It has to be green, so we'll use the mint flavoured icing. And now, let's decorate the tree with some yellow ribbons. This icing is lemon flavoured. We draw some lines, like so. Perfect! It looks so appetizing! <laughs> and no Christmas tree would be complete without coloured lights! Let's sprinkle these rainbow sprinkles all over the biscuit! There! Alex and Lily are going to love it! <laughs> it's turned out great, hasn't it? Let's do another biscuit then! How should we decorate this one, Alex? Wow! Great idea! We can draw Father Christmas's face! First, we use the colour red for the Christmas hat. Mm, it's strawberry flavoured! My favourite! But it still doesn't look like Father Christmas. Oh, I know! Let's give him a white beard! We grab the piping bag stuffed with white icing and draw a beard and moustache and add a little pom-pom to the hat! Perfect! Now it's only missing a pair of eyes and nose! We wrap two little black balls and a red one! These chocolate balls are for the eyes! And the pink one will be Father Christmas's nose! It's turned out so cute! <laughs> Do you like it? These are for you! And for me, here it is! Now you have to guess what Christmas element this is! First, we use the piping bag, there, and we also decorate it here. Perfect! Have you guessed it? It's a snowman! <laughs> Hi Alex! Hi Lily! Why are you wearing your pyjamas already? It's not bedtime yet! Oh, you're cold! Right! Winter's finally here! But don't worry! 
I have the perfect solution to warm you up! We're going to make some hot chocolate sauce and churros for a snack! Hey guys, can you think of any other afternoon snacks for the winter? You can tell us in the comments! You're going to have to swap out your pyjamas for your chef outfits! Great! Now we're ready! First, we turn on the ceramic cooktop and we have to wait for it to warm up before we put the milk on it! Great! Now we put several chunks of dark chocolate in the saucepan! And now we stir with the spoon so that it melts! Like so! Check it out! The milk has changed colour! It's almost ready! Next up, we have to thicken the chocolate sauce! So we have to add some corn flour! You don't know what that is, Lily? Corn flour is flour made from maize and it's great for thickening chocolate sauce! We add some to the saucepan and now a pinch of salt to enhance the flavour and lots of sugar, but not too much! <laughs> And now we stir again with the spoon until it dissolves and melts properly! There! Mmm! It smells amazing! Let's pour some in your cups! And do you know what goes great with chocolate sauce? Some yummy churros! It's very easy! You just have to pick up a churro and dip it in chocolate sauce! <laughs> And that's it! Now it's your turn! Whoops! Be careful not to make a mess! 